Welcome back to the channel, Manny B Investing. Make sure you give us a follow at Manny B Gaming on Twitter, but also make sure you subscribe to the page, hit that like, hit the share, help the channel out. And I told you guys that I was going to be taking a deeper look at Paribus. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I really like the project. I really like the things that are going on with the structure of the project. And we're just going to be taking a look at it a little bit deeper. So we're on their webpage, their homepage here, paribus.io, P-A-R-I-B-U-S dot I-O. That is their website. And that is where a lot of the information about the company is. But they also invite you to join them on Telegram. I... I'm not a big fan of Telegram, but I have it for crypto com uh, crypto projects because that's what a lot of the crypto projects like to use because a lot of them are not based in the United States, but in Europe. And so that's where that's popular. So we just have to just deal with it and use it. But uh, I've jumped over there and I've hung out and in, oh, some of their, their, their like top tier guys are in that, that chat room and they're talking and the, so funny i saw the c i think it was the cto was in there like kicking people out. so they are they're the they're there man they're the real deal this isn't like um giving me those ach vibes that i had you know if anything anybody knows anything about ach uh especially like dealing with like deep dive crypto like he was really critical about them on the way they conducted themselves so that's like a big thing that i am looking at so i am going to treat these projects just like i would treat um, a, a tech startup i have experience with that so i'm looking for your team your structure your employees who are they where are they from where are they going uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at some things that we talked about before uh, we talked about the pricing for it we said that it was in the last couple of days uh, in that last video that we were bouncing between uh, 0 0.008 and 0 0.014. And that is like almost exactly like what we did. We were at 1.3 and worked our way all the way down to 1.1. Two, it got pretty low. It got pretty low. Um, let's go to the seven day. Like, I bought, I actually I bought further back than that. I bought down in here, like the eight, right up in there. I bought in here. So we get, went through a lot. I bought in there. Um, I sold. I bought and sold and bought and sold. Um, bought when it was really low. I bought before it pumped up here. So I bought down in here i was buying down in here and it pumped up and we're kind of back down again a little bit so what i'm hoping for in the next uh, 24 hours is either it goes back up into this green or it goes further down and i can pick up some more but let's take a look at the market cap the last video we did we were at a 6.2 million dollar market cap and that was just like two days ago today and this data is not verified, and I promise you it lags. So we're at 2.4 already. We added $200,000 in market cap in just a couple of days for a project that's ranked that far back. And also, again, we're gaining as far as our watch lists on, uh, on coin market cap. So what I'm looking for in a project that is this far back, this far down on the rankings with this little of a market cap, I'm looking for solid, steady gains across the board. I'm looking for ranking to go up. I'm looking for watch lists to increase. I'm looking for that market cap to move, move and move forward. And I'm not talking about monumental gains and pumps. I'm talking about healthy, organic, natural movement. That's what I want. I don't, I'm not in this for a quick pump, 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 you know, make it to, make it to MSNBC, bag, bag, moon talk. Like I'm not in it for that. I'm in it for the long haul. 
I'm saving up. I'm stacking up. I got a trading bag. I got a long-term bag. I'm doing this the right way. I've learned so much in a short period of time dealing with crypto and I'm doing things finally the right way. And so far, so damn good. I'm loving it. But let's go ahead and check out the website. What I want to look at is I want to look at the team. This is the thing that really got me energized. So when you're looking at a project, you want to you want to know who are the people? Are they real people? Are they real? So let's take a look at the executive leadership. We got a CEO here. Let's see let's see what that bio is about. 9 years experience in developing small and large distributed systems primary so he's this guy is from crypto which is good to see let's go ahead it is linkedin bounty uh that's a company okay looks like you might be from the uk yep uk software engineer blockchain companies bounty okay that's in the grand cayman it's a freelance marketplace gig for the gig economy so it's like um Freelance, freelancers. Okay, so this is cool. Is, is this related to blockchain some kind of way? Okay, large transaction fees. Okay, have banks. Oh, okay. That's cool. I like that. And he was, what, what was he for them? I think he might have been a founder over there. I think he was a founder, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I have to sign in. Oh. I think he was a founder over there. That's cool. Wilson Davis, this is the, the COO. We actually got to see him on the uh, Orion uh, interview with uh, Timothea. So we'll take a look at his bio. He worked for some banks. He was like a, an investment banker for some pretty big banks. And he ended up getting out of that because he didn't like the way it worked and ended up getting into crypto and had been trading crypto. He probably was successful in it, which is why he started a company <laughs> uh, in it. All right. So Wilson Davis, he's going to be kind of like the, the, he's the operating officer, chief operating officer. So he's going to be behind like how the, the company operates, the structure, the day to day, like how it makes its money, you know, how it, how it, uh, operates CPO. Let's see who he is. All right. So he's in FinTech also in crypto. Okay, he's got an MBA. So we're looking for legitimate guys with, he's legitimate. He's got his stuff on there. Okay, I'm liking it. Simon, this is the guy that was in the uh, Telegram. He's a CTO, Chief Technology officer he was a tech lead at orion so this is see this is what i'm talking about they've got a partnership deal with orion they launched on orion pretty much and he their cto their their chief technology officer it was a tech lead at orion so we got another we got a connection with orion there And that, that's the executive team. So we got development people here. Uh, tech, uh, lead technical consultant. Let's take a look at his bio. So uh, working in the, the IT industry. Okay. Small size organization range from startup. Among them, ICOs, DeFi products take the top place in terms of project sizes. Software development. Okay. So he's in crypto as well. That's good to see. Uh, he's got a LinkedIn here.
All right. All right. Nothing crazy going on there. Nothing suspense. Uh, Jacob. Let's take a look at Jacob. Okay, so he's a software developer. Okay, so he's working in blockchain as a developer. Python, nice, nice, nice. Let's see what his LinkedIn's talking about. He's a blockchain expert. Okay. Solidarity developer. I like it. What are we doing here? Oh, there we go. Eight years, full stack experience, giving him a wide solutions. He builds, reacts to native nodes, JavaScript. Let's look at it. LinkedIn. Solid. Solidity. All right, that's in a different language. So he's a programmer. That's cool. Oh, we'll hide that. We'll scroll on down. Barclays, which is interesting. So this is how the game works, right? When you're an executive, you leverage where you where you've been and you leverage where you're going. Barclays. That is the COO worked for Barclays as a banker. That's interesting. And I believe he worked for Merrill Lynch as a banker. So there's a connection with those two companies. And that's what I'm really liking about Paribus. They are leveraging their executives, where they've been, where they're going. Orion, you see the Orion connection with the CTO. You've got the Barclays and Merrill Lynch connection with the COO. They've got working product. They've got backing. They've got customer base already. They haven't even launched. Let's take a look at these advisors. This is where it's going to get really good. CSO at Orion, bro. Are you serious? Wow. Product, products, strategy, tokenomics. So they're getting advice from a successful real life live project that I just so happen to be very bullish on. These guys are, these guys are sealed in. They're good to go. They're real. They're the real deal. Look at that CEO at Forsoft. And we had another connection where the guy was the, what was he? The founder of Forsoft. There's another connection. Card starter, the CEO of card starter is <laughs> a strategic advisor. Are you kidding me? The COO of Orion protocol. I like that name, by the way. That's dope. Are you kidding me? What? Hold up. Hold up. I'm getting too, too excited scrolling. Gerald Wallet. The connections we're seeing here, people. CMO at Charlie. Wow. They've got a connection with Charlie. They've got a connection with Gerald Wallet. Card Starter. That's where they launched their product, their, uh, their initial offering. That's who they've got to deal with. They've got, I think they've got development people from that company. I mean, this is what you want to see. This is what you want to see. You want to see a good, exciting corporate structure. You look at coins that don't do anything. And we're talking about sheebs. They don't have a use. Who are, the, who are the people over there? You don't know. You don't know who those people are. You don't know who made that. You don't know much about all you know that, oh, it's in the news. It's pumping. That's cool. Good, good on them. If you made money off, off of sheeb, good on you. If you lost money, I'm sorry. Hold on. Maybe, maybe you'll, you'll recover. But when you're looking at a project, this is what you want to see. You want to see documentation. You want to see advisors. You want to see executives. You want to see the development team. You want them to be real people. 
with LinkedIn's, with job history, with experience, verifiable experience in the space. You have that. We're going to do some more videos covering different topics on this project. If you are excited, you're going to have fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to learn about them. And we're going to learn about them together and hopefully make some money. All right. Thank you for checking out the video. Again, hit that subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.